Hi, everyone. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a collective love reading. It's a timeless reading. So whenever you found this reading, it's meant to be heard. It's also for any sign and any sign of the person that you're thinking of. So we are going to ask Spirit today, what is your person thinking and feeling in a no contact, no communication situation? Um, what's happening next in this connection? Any messages of love that your person wants to send to you today? We're going to call in our spirit guides now. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Spirit, please guide me. What is the person that I'm thinking of feeling? What do they need, need to know? What do my spirit guides need to be here today? Let's see what we're listening. Let's see. Spirit, I'm here, I'm here with anybody who's found this message. I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have hold the connection, hold on to the connection, the number 28, hold on to the connection, whether it's just in your thoughts, your, your feelings, just they're asking you to keep holding on. Okay, so we want to hold on. It's positive. Taking action. This is coming in as moving forward, moving fast forward, um, taking action. We're going to see if your person's going to, you know, reach out to you or whether they want you to reach out to them. I'm not sure who is taking action and moving forward, something like that, you know, moving, moving ahead, moving forward in some way. The number 14. And I have trust your wisdom, the number 13. You're going to get the answers that you're seeking. You will. It just takes time, some time to, for things to become clear or to know what direction to take. But they're asking you to hold on to this connection. You know, we're not ready to walk away just yet. Let's see what else. Keep the faith, the number 26. So right now the energy on the table is trust, um, some kind of action happening and a feeling of hold on. Okay. Like hold on to this, hold on to this connection because there's obviously they're not done with this. You know, we're not, you know, the spirit world isn't done with this connection. They have something else for you in this connection. So let's see what they're, let's see what they mean by that. Welcome everybody. Welcome back. Please remember to hit that like button, comment below. Thank you always for um, supporting each other. I really appreciate it in the comments. Let's see what we have. Let's see. I have an emperor. I have an empress. Look at you guys. Okay. I have a three of wands. Two of wands. Yeah, we're doing a lot of thinking. We're doing a lot of thinking about our future. We're doing a lot of thinking about the love that we share, the future promises, spirits, uh, the promises that we've made to each other. We really are a good, good connection. We really do balance each other. This is coming into me as we're both a little bit um, stubborn also. I don't want to put the blame on either side. I feel like we both have something um, that we could apologize for or something that we could um, try a little bit harder, work a little bit harder. But I have to tell you right now, I, I have a lot of energy around, you know, this love moving forward again, this love either somebody taking action to move this forward. I I'm still seeing a future with you. I'm still in love with you energy coming into me now. So right, right out of the gate, you've got somebody who, for whatever reason, we are not together, but I don't want you to be discouraged because spirit had said, hold on to this connection. You, you could just have needed a, a break from each other. You just needed to clear your head. You could have been, somebody could have been angry. We needed to calm down before we said something that we regret. So I just feel like it's going to come back together. This, this love is too strong for me right now. I needed a break with that four of swords, three of swords. Somebody got hurt. Somebody, uh, something happened here. Queen of pentacles. I want to feel more secure in this connection. I know that I've hurt you. Doesn't mean that they broke your heart. Doesn't mean they cheated on you. Not everybody is, has a third party situation going on. Could have nothing to do with that. It could be they said something that hurt your feelings. Their actions hurt your feelings. They wish they could take it back. Spirit just said. So I feel like they know that they hurt you in some way. 
and they're trying to, you know, figure this out. It's going to take some time to repair the damage. It is. I can feel it. But I also want to put some energy and time into it, even if it's going to be a, a lot of work. It's it's I'm going to figure this out feeling this night isn't going to give up. So right now it's it's a a new energy again, you know, like give this a second chance, give this a second time. Um, I've been thinking a lot about you. I don't want to walk away from this. I'm missing your love is how this just came into me. So you are probably very good to this person, Queen of Cups, that you have cared for them more than anybody. And they're probably missing the sound of your voice. Um, that's coming into me pretty clearly. Um, I, I, I want, I want to hear you. I want to hear your voice and I, I need to speak with you again. And so they're missing just, it's almost like a reassuring feeling that when you speak to them, their whole world is right. That when they hear your voice and you say, everything's going to be okay. Um, everything is everything. It's just a reassuring feeling like you either give them that sense of emotional security that they need and, or vice versa. You love the sound of their voice and it gives you a sense of reassurance of, of some kind spirit share with me messages. You really are my sweetheart. Okay. Sometimes I get nervous when I think about how much I love you. So did we have a runner? Did we have somebody who got nervous and upset about my feelings for you are too intense and therefore I got spooked? I ran. Do we have a runner? I know that there is something special about you. There's something different about you. When we have a distance between each other and we aren't communicating, the one thing that non-communication does for us, it makes us realize what we had. Unfortunately, that we don't want to be in a no communication situation, but if it forces the other person to see clearly what they truly have and they really, really miss it, then that no communication energy was needed because they had to see it and feel it. I have a gift for you. I can't wait for you to see it. I have a gift for you is coming into me as a, almost a feeling of I have some good news for you. I've been wanting to tell you whether it's something that they've achieved in their in their life since you've been apart or something happened at work that you were waiting for them to find out about. And, and I feel like they want you to be the first person to know that they want to reach out to you. And normally you would have been the first person that they would have picked up the phone to and, and told what was going on. And you guys would have celebrated it because it would have been a big deal to both of you. So I feel like they, they're a little disappointed in, in some kind of celebration going on in their life that they want to share with you. Like you're the person they want to share it with. I hope our children have your inner and outer beauty. So this feeling of we had a dream of having a family together for some of you. I become mush when I, when you look into my eyes. I miss I miss the sound of your voice. I miss looking into your eyes. Um, I think that that's important. I think that there's something going on here with just that physical connection that I'm struggling with. I, I want to look into your eyes. I want to hear your voice. And I want to I want to feel that connection. I want to feel that connection to you. You and me and you time is my favorite time. Uh, me and you time. <laughs> me and you time. It was like back. It felt backwards to me. Um, me and you time. Our time together. And then spirit saying bottom of the deck. Can you trust me? Can you trust me again? So what is preventing this connection from being together, spirit? What do we need to work on? What do you have for guidance for this connection? Let's see, sunglasses, watching, looking at you, um, keeping an eye on you, even when, you know, they're not with you, that there could be some of that going on. I feel heartbroken. I'm deeply hurt. I feel sad. I can feel the separation. It's hurt. It's hurts more than you know, is, is how it's coming into me today. So this isn't somebody who's happy about this, this separation. 
I have the snake, competition, um, another person, something like that could have interfered in this connection. Maybe they didn't even cross the line, but there could have been talks of jealousy or accusations that weren't true. And we get tired of being accused of something we weren't doing, something along those lines. A clock, we need time, it takes time, time to heal. This is a progress. We need more time, a mirror. We're mirroring each other. That empress and emperor, you guys probably have very similar, um, you know, characteristics or strengths. You could both be a little bit stubborn. Like I said, neither one of us want to give, <laughs> neither one of us want to give into this. Um, but at some point, somebody's going to break down and call. At some point, somebody's going to take action. They said in the beginning, Spirit, these are time cards. Um, anything about the divine timing in this connection? What do you have for timing? That's always, always um, the most important thing that people want. I have 1111. Look for 1111. Keep paying attention to catching it on the clock. If you feel like you keep catching it over and over again, you could be getting closer to your soul um, union coming back into alignment. So keep that in mind. I have the one you miss will come for a kiss. I do feel that. I feel like the, um, the energy is... I miss looking into your eyes. I miss the sound of your voice today. Um, I miss I miss your kiss. You know, it's it's as simple as that. So there's um, that is what spirits trying to let you know. This isn't one sided. Spirit said this is going on on both sides. We're both missing each other today. Four one four. Divine Masculine, Spiritual Foundations. The Divine Masculine is strong and present. Okay. So that did come into me as like I'm trying to make up my mind. Divine Masculine is a decision-making energy. I'm trying to think things through. I'm trying to make up my mind. Um, there could be something going on with that. The time is now. No need to wait. Go out on a date. You know, so this feeling of we need to move this forward, right? I miss your, I miss your um, kiss. The one, the one you miss will come for a kiss. Okay, so the time is now. I want to go out on a date with you. I want to see you again. Can we move on from the past? Can we, um, can we figure this out? Right? Can we figure this out? I feel like it's just a matter of time that the, the this connection is going to return to each other. Expect an upgrade within the decade. Okay, financial security. That's coming into me as financial security. I want more. I want to feel more secure. Could be I want a commitment on either side. One of you has been wanting a commitment and the other one hasn't, hasn't been willing to um, talk about a commitment. So it could be Spirit's way of saying, we're going to talk about where are we going to be in 10 years? Um, it's going to be longer. The weight will make you stronger. So waiting, I don't know, waiting, making you stronger. Yes. Work on yourself, grow, be independent, do some healing work so that when this person comes back to you, you're not in the same place you guys were when you left off. You're, you're both better. It's time for a break. How are you even awake? You know, just this feeling of uh, staying up all night, if you're staying up all night worrying about you, if they're perusing the, the internet, they're trying to figure out what you're doing on your social media, they're trying to, you know, figure out what you're thinking and feeling, you know, they, they could be having a hard time with just sleeping. 1010, 10, shifting timelines, a wholeness and a completion. So look for these numbers, some of these numbers, 1111 for sure, and 1010. 10. We catch 1010 10 on the clock in these, this particular reading a lot. So I feel like right now, um, look at, you're going to be shocked. You're going to be shocked. Stop staring at the clock. Um, unexpected. Okay. Unexpected. You're going to be shocked. Um, I like that because this feeling of just when you feel like you're letting your down your guard or you're ready to give up, Spirit said, don't hold on to this connection right from the beginning. So 
you may be shocked when this person reaches out to you. And it could be as simple as I've missed your voice. I've missed your looking into your eyes. I, I miss your lips. You know, I miss your kiss. Um, so you could be shocked. So don't keep, I mean, I, I can't tell you what to do, but I, I guess I want you to just kind of live your life as best you can. And when this person reaches out, they reach out. But I do feel like it's kind of out of the blue or, you know, my mind is on other things. And all of a sudden that phone call comes in. I'm at work. I'm really busy at work. And all of a sudden my phone buzzes and it's my person. You know, that would be the, the feeling that I'm getting. Let's see what they're saying. I have a higher fan. This is bigger than us. I have a ten of swords. I've changed four pentacles. I know that I've been holding back. I know I've been holding back. My feelings is coming into me. I want to move on. I want to move on from, you know, us not talking or us, the standstill that we're in. It's not helping us. It's not, it's not benefiting us. So this person's getting ready to break. They're getting ready to break free from the, I want to be alone or I need time. I, I've been doing a lot of time thinking with this hangman energy. I've done some healing work. I've repaired some things. I've given a lot of thought to my feelings about you. So there's a lot going on here. In Six of Pentacles, I do want to give you more and a star. This just came into me as um, I have such hope, right? I have renewal. I have hope. I have um, I, I hope that you want the same things. I hope that we can, you know, repair the damage, or I even have hope that this separation makes us stronger. I know that that's hard for some people to believe. Bottom of my deck, I have a Knight of Cups. So my feelings for you haven't changed. My feelings for you haven't changed. Did they run because they were scared? We started talking about commitment, somebody could have pushed the other person's buttons a little too, too often. It could have been a lot of different things. I feel like you both had a part in it. I'm not going to put the blame on either of you. I feel like we both have to work at this, but I do feel like the overall energy today is that I miss you. And I think you're going to be shocked when this person <laughs> you know, this person um, reaches out to you. They, they have something to tell you. Either something big has happened in their life and, and that could have been the turning point for them that the person that I wanted to pick up the phone to and tell about this, this event in my life or catch up with, um, I'm on a standstill with. And it's like, it was so painful. So there could have been just like a um, turning point for them of something that's happened that made them realize what is what we're doing. I need you to make the first move. That could be that could be you, that could be them. I still have hope. Who needs to who needs to make the first move? We've got we've got to be able to be adults and say, you know, somebody has to give in. You know, the game of chicken isn't working. Um, I don't know how to move forward from this situation. I want to move it forward. All I know is I have feelings. Somehow I will make the impossible possible. You mean everything to me. I, a little bit of I want to fight for your love or I'm going to prove to you I love you. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you that I want you back. Um, I'm going to say that. Is it impossible? I don't, I don't think it's impossible. I think everything is possible. I feel like if we admit our feelings to each other and we really, really want to be together, I feel like anything is possible. So that is that that would be beautiful. That would be beautiful that somebody says, you know, we're going to we're going to push through this and we're going to we're going to do what it takes to get back together. I keep my feelings for you a secret because I was involved with somebody else. So if there was a third party situation, then obviously that has to be removed for some of you. Can you feel me with you? Absolutely. Um, I can feel you pulling away from me. That could be scaring them. So there's the impossible. Like, how can I win you back? Um, I need to win you back before it's too late. I never know what to say to you. And I'm so nervous around you. I, I just don't want to blow it. 
I have your back no matter what happens. I'll still be here for you. Sometimes even when we're not talking to the person, that person still feels this obligation to you. They still feel committed to you. Even if we're not talking, we're just mad at each other right now, or we're just, we need a space. If you only knew how much I love you. Um, I'm going to go with this because... I want you to know that, you know, can you feel me with you? Can you, I want you to know that this person is obviously today missing you incredibly and they want to hold, we want to, Spirit said right from the beginning, hold on to this connection. So what do we need to do to hold on to this connection? Can you feel me? And if you only knew how much I love you. We need to we need to heal, we need to repair, we need to communicate, we need to look into each other's eyes and be honest and truthful with each other. So let's ask spirit to bring that to you now. Let's let's ask spirit to bring you this unexpected message to reconnect this connection. I want to thank spirit for this reading today. If you're new to my channel, please remember 1010 on the clock everybody. Thank you spirit. Um Thank you, everybody. Thank you for your likes, your love, your comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading uh, with me, please uh, check out my website, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.